everyone, and welcome back to my heavenly babies. And welcome back to Share a Daughter Sunday. I have an exciting blanket reveal to share with you guys. My husband and I have adopted a beautiful little girl, and I just can't wait to share her with you guys. Now, I'm saying adoption. I did not get her through somebody. I bought her online, you know, through a company. She was brand new. And I just love her. I'm really getting, you know, more into ethnic babies, and I want to add them to my collection. So she is a little ethnic baby, and I'm going to slowly go over. Now, I did, when I got her, I did, um, you know, fix her up a little bit more. I added a little bit more paint to her and a little bit more art. She needed art and all of that. At the very end, I will show you the picture of what she first looked like when I got her and then what I did, as you're going to see as I reveal. And, um, but yeah, I added the art to it and sealed her and everything because she was really sticky. These babies come so sticky. But anyways, as I slowly go up, we're going to go over and we'll see if you guys can guess as we're going up. And I also got a new eye color for her and I did that and I love it. And then I will reveal the name once I, you know, reveal her completely and then we'll just get her dressed quick. But all right, let's go ahead, you guys. I'm so excited. I love this little girl so much and I love that we are adding more ethnic babies. So, of course, being an ethnic, that would be an adopted baby then, you know. So, let me show you guys. Let's start with her beautiful feet. Look at her little feet, you guys. Look at her coloration. What could she be? Now, I've done the little tips on it. I will, let me see if I need to draw in for you guys. See if you can even see the feet. I'll draw in a little bit for you. There's her little feet. Yeah, look at how beautiful you guys. I did the little toes on it and everything. Now it said um, in the uh, description that she her little toes were done. When I got it, some of them were, they were very faint and everything, so I redid them. But what could she be, you guys? Could she be Mexican? Could she be, um, could she be Hawaiian? Could she be Arabian? Oh my goodness, let's go up a little bit farther and show her more in her little hands. Look at you guys. Oh my gosh, what is she? Could she be Mexican? Could she be black? Could she be Latino? What could she be, you guys? Could she be mulatto? Oh my gosh, you guys. Oh my gosh, what is she? Look at how beautiful she is. Look at that beautiful belly button. All the beautiful art I did. Look at her little chest cakes. She didn't even have nipples, you guys. She didn't even have nipples when I got her. She just had the little, um, the little, uh, you know, the areas where it would look like little breast on a baby, you know? Um, so it had the little bumps there, but it didn't have the nipples. So I did that. I'm going to draw in and show you. I put those on her, painted them on her and look at all the creases I did. Look at the belly button. What nationality do you think she is? You guys, what could she be? Oh my gosh, what did me and my husband adopt? Who did we adopt? She is the most beautiful little girl ever. And I can't wait to reveal her and reveal her name. All right, she is a little baldy. I'm gonna add hair to her. I've got the hair and everything, but I just haven't done it yet because I did have to do the painting and everything. I literally got her like three days ago. I've already painted her, sealed her, all that. And that is a rush for me, rush. But it just turned out beautiful. I love all the creases. Look at the coloration on her. What have you guys guessed? What do you think she is? You know, you can throw guesses out right now just in your head. And then you can tell me down below if you had it right. Um, but yeah, it's one of the ones I said. One of the ones I said. One, two, three. OMG, look at this beautiful mulatto baby girl. Look at her, you guys. Look at those eyes. She's got beautiful gray eyes with the white in it. And yeah, boy, she is a beautiful little mulatto baby. And her name is Willow Star. Isn't that a beautiful name? I just love it, you guys. Of course, I came up with that name. And when I thought of Willow, I wanted the gray eyes for her. You know, mulatto babies 
can come with colored eyes and they're always so stark and beautiful and just so unique. So yeah, it's just so pretty. You know, I just love the coloration. We'll see if we can draw in so you can see her eyes better. So we'll draw in on her eyes. I love her eyes. Isn't she the most gorgeous little mulatto baby ever? Look at that. Oh, she is so pretty. Um, Willow, you're so beautiful. Yeah, you're so pretty and we're so happy to have adopted you. Yeah, isn't she gorgeous, you guys? I redid the lips. I did the blushing better. All the creases, the ears, everything. I will do a detailed video of her. Um, you know, at the end here, I'll just go over and kind of do a little bit more. I'll add to it the detailed video of her because I want you to see before and after photos. You're going to see that too. But anyways, yeah, here's our little girl. So meet our little adopted mulatto baby girl, Willow Star. Meet her to the, you know, new to the family here. She's brand new to our family and we love her. And I'm so happy now to have a little Hawaiian baby. Um, I've got um, Italian babies. I've got two little Italian babies because my husband's Italian. But of course, uh, Topanga, our Hawaiian baby, she was adopted. I got, you know, did a trade uh, with her. And now we've got our little mulatto baby, Willow. So yeah, I'm adding more um, ethnics to my, uh, you know, my home. And so we're going to be doing more adoptions. So, but I got a surprise. I've got, um, you know, I am adopted, adopting, ex or what is it? Adoption expecting. Yes, another one, another little ethnic baby. And I can't wait for you guys to see that baby. I'm not going to tell you the gender. Uh, that one's coming unpainted. I'm going to do that one, but I will show you that one. Um, I probably will do a box opening on that one because that one, I just, you know, this one I wanted to do some uh, some art to it since it was almost done. I wanted to add a little bit more of the art to it. The other one's completely unpainted, so it's going to take some time, and I want to be able to share that one with you guys. But yeah, so meet Willow, you guys. And yeah, I'm going to get up close and show you guys all of her details. And then at the end, I will have her in a cute, adorable outfit, and I'll take photos for you guys. So yeah. Love uh, sharing this beautiful little girl for Shara Daughter. She's our new little adopted little daughter, little Willow Star. And boy, she's got gorgeous little eyes on her, and I can't wait till she's rooted. She did come with the um, eyebrows already done. I might add, they're just painted, or I think painted on. Um, I might add a little bit more, maybe go over with some rooted hair or just draw some more on. Um, but I don't know. They're, they're pretty nice the way they are. And I did open her mouth. They are, you know, a... Uh, closed mouth when they come. I did open her mouth and I did, um, you know, do a little area inside there just to make it more so you can see into it. It just made it prettier on her, but she's a gorgeous girl. Let's prop you up a little bit, Willow, so everybody can see you. You are so beautiful, little girl. All right, let me get some footage of her. I will uh, shut the camera off now and get up close and do some of her details up close so you guys can see what I did. And then um, I will show you before and after pictures. Um, I will also show you the baby online. I got it from AliExpress. I'll throw it up there. And she was sold as a, um, I think it said black skin baby. So she is a little black baby. Um, I'm just, you know, calling her a little mulatto baby, which is the same thing, you know, half black, half white. So, but um, yeah, we're just loving her. So let me get up close and show you guys the details of what I did to her and then uh, there'll be before and after photos. And if you want to order it, like I said, it's AliExpress and just look up. I think it's called, I'll put the information up there for you. I'll put, you know, the actual like picture of the, of the site, you know, that she comes off of or whatever. So you guys know what to look for on AliExpress. All right, you guys. So let me get onto that and then everybody take care. God bless. And I'll see each and every one of you in my very next upload. Okay. I'm going to get up now and show you guys what I did with her. You know, what I added um, they'll be before and after. I would have thrown one before picture up right before this of her before and after. And now I just want to get up and show you. But first off, let's start with her face and those beautiful eyes. Look at those gray eyes. Oh my gosh, so pretty. And like I said, I was looking at mulatto babies and they really have those really unique colored eyes. And not always, you know, they can be brown. She did come with brown, just regular acrylic eyes. I put in the glass eyes. Um, but I didn't know if I wanted blue. I didn't know what color I wanted. And then I chose, I want the gray. I was looking online and I want the gray. I love it with the black around it and the gray. And she's just so pretty with it. 
So, and I think they're a size 20. I put in a 20 or 22. I'll throw it up on the screen there for you guys. But yeah, there's her beautiful eyes. And then I added more to the nose blushing and more to the cheeks. And I changed her lip color. Her lip color was more of a pink. This is more now of a purplish uh, plum uh, color to look more for a little mulatto baby. And then, like I said, she's got the eyebrows already done on her. I might add a little bit more. Or I might not. I am going to root her, but she does have the veining. She did come with, whoops, I got to get a light there. She did come with some mottling on her. They did a pretty good job on the mottling. So I'm surprised about that. There's some veining there I did. And then over here, did some more veining there. But yeah, she had some great mottling on her. I'm going to show you as I go down her chest. Um, she really did. They did a great job on her mottling. I mean, that was really good. But the nipples, she did not have any nipples, just the little bump there. That's all she had. So, you know, so you could tell that that's where the breast were, the little breast on a, on a baby. But yeah, I added those in, you know, being a dark baby. So I added those in um, and just made it look like the nipples are there. I had to do that with my Dylan baby too. Uh, the one that I, you know, traded with Michelle, that baby um, did have the nipples. But when I got a second one, that one didn't have the nipples. It's so weird. And I ordered it off the same site, but it didn't. And neither did she. So I added them. So I think that's pretty unique. I think everybody's going to say, wow, those look like they came, like they're there. Because normally I would just paint on them like that. But I had to, you know, make them. And then I did all the dark, you know, coloration in her little um, creases because she didn't have any of that when I got her. She didn't have any of that. And I did the dark coloration in her arm there. And then down her hand, I did her fingertips like that and added a little bit more blushing there. She had um, veining in the hand already. And then I added some red in there. And then all the creases. Look at all the creases I did, you guys. Doesn't that look phenomenal for a little mulatto baby? I mean, it's just great. Love her coloration. I love it. And I love all the creases I did there, just everywhere. I just did all the creases. And then um, this hand here. And I'm sorry, I probably should have put the flash on, but that's okay. I think it looks better sometimes without the flash. You get to see the coloration so much better of the baby. But I did all those creases. She did not have any of that. And the nails were not done. Even though they say online they are, they were so faint and almost probably wore off. And then her beautiful belly button I did. And then I did shine up the belly button. I did shine up the lips. I did shine up the nose there. We've got the wetness in the nose. And a little wetness, if you can see in the eyes there, we did a little wetness in there. I always like to do that. Hopefully you guys can see that. And then the nose, we always like to have that little bit of a runny nose like babies have. Is there something there? Did a little bit of dark inside of there. But um, yeah, I had that little bit of runny nose. And then um, her lips. If you see any white, that's just, um, I haven't completely, uh, you know, rinsed her. I do that silicone velvet. I haven't completely rinsed her because I really like how it feels on her. You don't have to rinse that off. But um, eventually it'll just wear off, whatever. But if you see any of that, that's all it is. It does rinse off. But yeah, so there's her, her beautiful mouth and everything. So let's keep going down. And then that belly button. Like I said, I love the way the belly button turned out. All of the creases in there. Look at all of the creases I did. So pretty. I added some more mottling in. I did my own mottling on her. And then as you go down and you see the legs, all the creases done there. Beautiful, right? All the creases. Look at her feet. Added more blushing on the feet. Did all the creases on the bottom. And inside the toes there, look at that. I mean, come on, you guys. I'm getting better and better at my painting. It just shows that some people are really gifted. And let's see if I can get the lighting the same way it was on the other foot. I can't get it on this one as good. I don't understand. But yeah, I got the dark, um, the darkness in there as well, just like on the other foot. I don't know why it's not showing as good on this one. But um, yeah, I got the the lines done in this foot too. Maybe it is showing good and I'm just not thinking it is. But yeah, if you see any of that whiteness, I just have to rinse her. That's all. But all the creases there that I did, isn't that beautiful? All the creases. Oh my gosh, so pretty in her toes. And she is squishy. She is definitely a very squishy baby. She is a 20 equal. Look at that. It's so realistic. But I got to tell you something, guys. If you would have seen the picture when I sent it up there, when I got her home, even in the photograph, but when I got her home, I don't think she looked real at all. It was one of the first babies ever that I'd ever gotten that I didn't think looked real. And I was a little bit scared about that. There's her ear that I flushed up, did some more flushing there. Then let's flip her over. And there's the back there. And that is the only thing she has is the top of her head, the pore spout. Let's see if you guys can see that. Let me get up there and show you the pore spout. And then it goes down her head here. And down her spine. And that's it. Look at her spine in there. You can't even see it. That's it. She doesn't have the seam lines going down the arms or the legs like that. This was the only seam line was that. And I took a little nippers and nipped most of that off of her. And yeah, I just, you can barely see it. And then she's got that spine, you know, the bone there, the spine. <clears throat> so yeah, 
It's just amazing. And then I did a little bit more. I didn't do any veining on the back. She had kind of her own. I did all the creases, though, on there. I did the elbows more blushed up. And then, of course, you could see her hand better on this side and then this side. And just see all that I did in the creases. Look at that. That just really helps, you know, to really bring out the, F, you know, the uh, nationality of this baby, you know, being a little mulatto baby, half black, half white. Um, just so pretty, you know, just so pretty. We love her so much. And then the creases in there and then the back. And then you just get to see the coloration good. Like like I said, I'm so glad that I don't have the flash on right now because I don't think it would have shown how good it is. If you see any shiny spots on this baby, every time you seal a baby, there's always sometimes, not always, but sometimes a couple spots left over that you can go over and reseal. And I will do that. I just wanted to be able to share her with you guys because it just took a while to do it. And I wanted to share her right away. So, um yeah, so I'll just go over and fix any of those little shiny spots. But they're very, very small and very minute. So even if I didn't want to, I don't have to. So, but anyways, everybody meet Willow and, uh, you know, introduce her to our family. I wanted to introduce her to you guys, our little adopted mulatto baby girl, Willow Star. All right, you guys, I'm going to get her dressed and take some photographs. I hope you guys love her just as much as we do. Everybody take care. God bless and we'll see you in the next upload. Say goodbye, Willow. Mwah.